case about a request from a student to talk about interconverting the wavelength and frequency of electromagnetic radiation. So here's a question from there, and it says, suppose an AM talk radio station broadcasts radio waves with a frequency of 640 kilohertz. All right, frequency of 640 kilohertz. Calculate the wavelength. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go to, go to my whiteboard, and I'm given my uh, frequency, which is uh, new. I think Alex uses F for frequency, okay? And it was 640 kilohertz. Which I'm gonna write this again as 640 times 10 to the three hertz. And you know what? I'm gonna write it one more time as 640 times 10 to the three reciprocal seconds. That is one over seconds, okay? So that's what the frequency is. Uh, let me point out here that uh, I'm using new. Alex uses F. They're the same thing. That's what that means, okay? So then I'm going to go back and read the question again. All I did was interpret so far. That's all I've, do, all I've done is interpret that question. This AM uh, talk radio station broadcast radio waves with a frequency of blank. And that's all I did so far, right? Is I said nu is equal to 640 kilohertz. And I rewrote that. Okay, now calculate the wavelength of these radio waves. So I'm asked for the wavelength, all right? Well, what I'm asking for here is the wavelength and that's it, right? Now, I'm, I'm using uh, lambda for wavelength and I think Alex does too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my formula sheet, which I pulled up already. And I'm going to look at it. This is the, here's the one for 12, 12. Here's the one for 12, 11. And I see right here in the middle of my screen is lambda nu is equal to C. Lambda nu is equal to C. Let me go back over here now. So I know then if lambda, oops, oops, that's not a lambda, that's a nu. Lambda nu is equal to C, or as Alex might put it, I'm going to do it in a different color. Lambda F is equal to C, right? Because they're, we're using these two the same. Uh, we go back to black. If this is true and I'm looking for lambda, that means that this is going to tell me lambda is going to equal C over nu, right? And we know that C is the speed of light, electromagnetic radiation, that's 2.99, oh, I don't know, seven? Let's go look at it. Is the speed of light on here? Looking for the speed of light. Somebody help me. Ah, 3.00. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go over to, it's 3.00, oh, oh, which is like 2.9997, something like that. Let's go over to Alex, and I'm gonna look up what the speed of light is here. Data. Let's see if it's in data. I think it's in the calculator and the data, but let's look here, okay? First of all, fundamental constants. Speed of light, yep, there it is, 2.9979, right? Which rounds to 3.00. 2.9979, I'm gonna put those in there. Uh, is that right? No, I wanna get rid of that, boom, okay. 2.9979, which is the same as that, okay. C is equal to 2.9979, and then we're a couple more digits, times 10 to the eighth meters per second. All right, if that's the case now, we're ready to calculate this. We have both nu, which is this, and c, which is this, right? Okay, so let's do it. 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by 640 times 10 to the three reciprocal seconds, okay? Can you see now that these two cross off? That crosses off and I'm left with meters, okay? So this is gonna be 2.9979. And I'm gonna cross these off too. I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna make this five, right? 2.9979 times 10 to the five divided by 640 times 10 to the three, which I already get rid of, meters, okay? So I'm almost done. I'll put this in my calculator. 
I, I, I do know um, Alex may require me to put that in nanometers or something. So we'll, we'll also go back and look at that. For now, 2.9979 times 10 to the 5 divided by 640 equals 468 meters. 468.42 and so on meters, right? That's probably, we're probably not going to be doing any, any uh, conversions now. It's probably going to be left in meters. We'll see in a second, but 468. Now let's go, and this had, uh, this one had five sig figs in it. Had more than that, right? Because I didn't put all the digits in, but that's all. I'll only show five here. And there are three sig figs here. So this is going to have three sig figs, right? So this then is going to be reported as 468 meters. Hopefully they'll let us put it in as meters and we won't have any more uh, conversions to do. Come over here. Sure enough, meters. But I'm afraid I've forgotten it. It's 468. I'm pretty sure that's right. I think I'm going to calculate it one more time before I do this, okay? So it was 2, wait, wait, wait. 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th divided by 640 times 10 to the 3 equals 468. That's right. 468 and I think I have to put a dot after that to show that we know that that's I think that's how Alex is asking us to do that okay let's go there and sure enough that's correct all right um, I think I'll do one more just to uh, just to review that process with you come over here um, let me add a layer get rid of that one I know I looked up over here in my Oops. Just a second here. Okay, don't forget, we know that lambda nu is equal to c. Lambda nu is equal to c. So let's come back over here, and we're doing lambda nu is equal to c. We know that, right? Um, in your explanation, don't forget now, in your explanation, Alex is probably saying lambda f is equal to C or alternatively the same thing we would say um, frequency is equal to C over lambda right these are all the same equations I'm gonna go with the red one though because that's what I'm used to and that's what your equation sheet says for the final exam we're going back over here a VHF television station assigned to channel 10 transmits its signal using radio waves with a frequency of blank 192 megahertz 192 megahertz so frequency is 192 megahertz are they using a dot after that 192 let's go back there yep 192 megahertz okay 192 megahertz I'm gonna rewrite this immediately and that's 192 times 10 to the 6 Hertz, which is the same thing as 192 times 10 to the 6 reciprocal seconds. Okay? And I know C because I just looked it up. It's 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And I'm guessing that they're going to ask me what is the wavelength. So let's go over and look at it. So we know what the frequency is, right? Calculate the wavelength, sure enough. And it's in centimeters, you see that? So I know I'm gonna to go to centimeters. Let's go ahead and do that conversion all at once, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, all right, it's 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by 192 times 10 to the six reciprocal seconds, right? And I'm going to do one more conversion. Right? These reciprocal seconds cross off and I'm going to get rid of meters and in, incorporate centimeters and so there's 100 centimeters in a meter and this will do the trick for me, okay? Now I'm going to, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that 6 and I'm going to make this 2 times 10 to the 2. So that's too messy, isn't it? 2.9979 times 10 to the... You know what? There's two and there's another two right there. So I'm going to say four. 
times 10 to the 4 divided by 192 it's going to give me my centimeters, and I have to have three sig figs, right? Because that's because that that's my limiter right there. All right, let's do that out. 2.9979 times 10 to the fourth divided by 192 point equals 156 centimeters. It's really 156.14 blankety blank, but I'm going to say 156 centimeters and that has three sig figs I'm gonna to have to put a dot after it uh, because Alex is so precise by the way I sound like I'm complaining about that but I do think precision uh, has its own value uh, in science and so happy for it I'm correct and I think I'm done with this video okay hope that's helpful let me know what else you want to see